So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which I'm going to show you what the docker ignore file is. So right now what I have is I have a very basic node server here written in express and we have a node modules folder obviously and a bunch of package log and package.json files just like you would expect with a normal node application. But the crux here is is that when I'm creating my server I do not really want to copy the node modules folder as well because well you know you can think of it in the following way for example I'm running Mac OS right now and let's say I'm using some sort of binary extension as a node module which does not really work straight out of the box on a Linux machine so what I really want to do is I just want to copy my source files and then do an npm install and then um, use those packages or maybe maybe uh, what happens is that in my docker container which is a production container i don't really want to install the development packages so i don't, don't really want to copy all of the known modules because that's just a waste of space right so what i can do is i can actually create a special file and this file is called dot docker ignore right so dot docker ignore what it would do is just like dot get ignore file you can specify the files you do not really want to send into the docker image as a build context so for example let's go ahead and take a look here so we have a context here and inside our docker file let's change this from folder um, to server as well right and actually as a matter of fact I'm just gonna remove this altogether and change it to server, right? Let's just get rid of folder because it has no real use right now. So now what's happening is, let's see. So if I run Docker, remember that I do not have anything in Docker ignore right now. So if I run Docker compose up build, let's see what happened. So mm, I think nothing really because it does not really show so let's just go the old school way so i'm gonna build my docker first docker image with the build context of this folder so if i hit enter okay i get it i'm in the wrong directory anyway so let's just do it again docker compose up build and yeah it's still not working so let's just go old school docker build t and here we go so you can see um what we have in here is a build context of two megabytes, right? But you would see uh, that is not the case. That should not be the case because this is just a few kilobytes of information. For example, let me just go ahead and add a bunch of modules. Um, I don't know, MySQL, Mongoose, for example, that should do it. So if I add these particular modules, and now if I go ahead and if I run uh, docker build again you're gonna see my build context is now 10 megabytes so you see that it is in fact copying the node modules folder as well with it so let me just go ahead and remove this this node modules right now and what i want to do is inside my docker ignore file i'm going to specify node modules as a directory now if i go ahead and run this you're going to see that my build context uh, is still the same because this should be server node modules not just node modules and you can see my build context drops to just 32 kbs instead of 2 megabytes which was just because of a single express dependency it dropped to 32 kbs and you can obviously imagine how heavy node modules are in regular projects so you definitely need to add it to docker ignore so that you do not have a huge build context a huge build context probably means a huge image which brings all sorts of um, portability issues with it. So now we are added, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify my Docker file to actually include Node. And I think it's only Node, not Node.js. So once we have that in place, what I can do is I can go ahead and write the command as um, node server dot, not really server, but index.js. And what I want to do before that is actually once I have copied this stuff, I want to actually run um, npm install so that we have the express dependency with us right and there we are so if i go ahead and enter now 
you're gonna see from node and I believe I do not really have node so I'm just gonna make use of a node um, tag which I already have okay so I do have 13.5.0 with me so now let's just go ahead and run this so you can see I already have that so it used the cache for that and looks like I do not really have package.json here so let's see what's what's the deal so yeah obviously I need to change my work directory first and then run it so here we are now my step 4 is running npm install and it, it would just pretty much install express and all that basic stuff express mongo and whatever we had no only express yeah so it's fine so yeah that's that's basically how um, the docker ignore files are gonna work and that's really what I wanted to show anyway in this video so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next video